All right, Alicia, Saifa, Alicia, um, River, thank you again so much for taking the time to chat with me today. How are y'all? Good, how about you? Great. Um, well, thank you. Are so, you in the South, Denny? I like that y'all. <laughs> no, I'm in the Midwest, I'm in the St. Louis area. Got it. You know that is Southern. <laughs> it is considered Southern <laughs> to some. I'm on the Illinois side, which is considered North, uh, but yeah, I'm like in a mix of between the two, you know? <laughs> we know yeah, what it's yeah. like to be in the middle. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> so tell me, how excited are you for everybody to pr premiere? We're Anyone? pretty excited. <laughs> excited, nervous, scared, terrified. Yeah, all, all of the things. above. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, this film examines how all three of you moved from child childhoods marked by shame, secrecy, and non consensual surgeries performed on each of you as minors. Why did you decide to be a part of this project? Um, I'm happy to start since I was the first one to come on board with the project. Um, Julie approached me. And she, I guess, found me because I've been a political activist working in the gender equity space. And that was kind of the through line with her past documentaries from RBG to her uh, highlight of Gabby Giffords most recently. And I just trusted Julie from the beginning. I, I was um, about to make a different film prior and the whole process had felt really icky and exploitative, which is something that Unfortunately, intersex people are used to when it comes to media, but is something that I think none of us are really down to tolerate anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, with Julie, it just felt like her heart was in the right place from the beginning. She was asking the right questions. Uh, she wanted to broaden the story, uh, not just focus on one person. And I know Saifa has been out and activisting for a decade longer than than I have. <laughs> and it, I, I like to call Saifa kind of the OG of our movement. So uh, I, when, when Julie wanted to bring someone else on board, Saifa was my first thought. And uh, yeah, so maybe kick it over to Saifa next. Yeah, Saifa. Yeah, so um, thank you, Alicia. Um, yeah, um, Alicia had reached out to me and had mentioned that um, Julie um, was interested. So Julie contacted me, um, shared a link to her film. Um, My name is Paulie Murray, which I saw. And I think there was something about Julie sort of telling those untold stories, um, yeah. those figures in history who don't always get sort of mentioned. Um, and so... In addition to that, I think there was also like a uh, certain knowledge that Julie came with, which I found refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think there was, I sensed some integrity, which for me felt important to be a part of. For sure. And River? Um, for me, I was the last to join uh, the trio. I had known Alicia and Saifa through the online intersex community and mm -hmm. Well, we became friends um, throughout the last few years and they were planning a protest at Wild Cornell um, in New York uh, in the summer of 2021, which is in the movie. Mm -hmm. And they asked me to come and speak and the jersey kind of <laughs> came out and <laughs> I had a lot to say about mm -hmm. uh, a certain doctor um, who was... Uh, who performs many of these intersex non-consensual non -consensual surgeries. Yeah. And um, yeah, I guess Julie was inspired by me and my presence and mm -hmm. asked me to join. <laughs> and I was really nervous, and, but I did because I just, I just think any opportunity to, um, to especially as an intersex person of color, a uh, first generation immigrant, like I just, I just know that I, I have to share my story yeah. um, whenever asked, and it's of service to the community to to show the different perspectives of what it means and what it looks like to be intersex. So, so I said yes, and very soon after, fell in love with a um, Miss Julie Cohen, who is <laughs> now not only our director but our auntie. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love it. And I love that all three of you already knew each other beforehand. So did that kind of help this process a little, be a little bit easier for you all? We definitely leaned on the support system of each other. I mean, yeah. we have a 
a WhatsApp group chat that is <laughs> filled with a lot of tea and laughs and support. <laughs> and, um, you know, I think it's just reflexive of just intersex people, what it means to be in community with each other. And we have definitely gotten so much closer through this film. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. But we need that beyond the film, right? That's what mm -hmm. all of us are fighting for is for intersex people to be able to have access to that community. And we're all raised being told that we're alone and rare and that, you know, we can't share who we are because we'll never find love or that there aren't other people like us when that's none of that is true. Yeah. Um, and I think once we do come out and for anyone who might be watching uh, who is intersex, as soon as someone comes out, the global community tends to embrace that person, at least online. And now we're building these structures to be able to interface more in person too, which is really special and awesome. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. I mean, all three of you are now leaders in a growing, growing global movement advocating for greater understanding of the intersex community and these unnecessary surgeries. Are you hoping that this documentary will help the uh, help that movement further expand? You know what I what I want to say um, is that there is already a global movement happening. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. just to I think it's just really important not to censor the United States because there's such important work. I'm based here in Europe. I think Europe mm -hmm. and you know countries in Africa in Asia and in Latin America are doing really amazing things okay. as far as really ending these surgeries. Um, and so I do feel like what we can contribute as U.S. citizens is that what is done in the U.S. gets exported to other parts of the world, right? Mm -hmm. And so if we're able to really challenge medical authority here, it definitely sends a ripple throughout the world. But I think I really want us to situate I feel that we need to situate our intersex activism in the global community. Definitely, definitely. And when you look at the global context, we're actually really behind here. There are entire countries in Europe and Africa that have banned these surgeries. Really? And that have done, yes, yeah. um, from Kenya to Malta, um, all over the Greece, world. Greece, Spain. Greece, Spain. <sighs> so we're actually... And not to get all philosophical and talk about American exceptionalism, but in the United States, we're often pretty far behind when it comes to human rights. I was just thinking of that. Like, I mean, surprise, surprise, the United States is behind. I mean, that's, that's, it, I hate to say that, but that is not a surprise. And it's really unfortunate that it is like that. So hopefully this documentary will help open that door and kind of see what these other countries are, are doing, like uh, Saifa said. And so why why do you think the intersex community is still not often talked about and considered to be taboo at times? Um, oh. Oh. oh, no, go ahead, Saifa. Please, please, Alicia. <laughs> Well, I just have a quick thought, which is um, when a child is trans or gay, you don't know that until they're able to vocalize it. Mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes, intersex kids are born visibly intersex from the moment they're born, and then the interventions start from that moment onward. And so I just like to say that the closet is way deeper. Um, it takes us longer to dig our way out. Mm -hmm. And the fact that our shame and our secrecy that we experience is also reinforced by the medical community when doctors are often viewed as gods or like these arbiters, mm -hmm. when any institution in the world, whether it be medicine or any other institution all come with their own bias and um, pain points and shortcomings. And so the fact that we are often having, we are also having to change doctors' hearts and minds. It just means that our fight for our humanity is a bit more complicated than some of the other members of the LGBTQI plus spectrum. Mm -hmm, definitely, definitely. River, Cypher, would you like to add to that? Yeah, what I would add to what Alicia said is that I think there has been an active erasure of intersex identity and experiences. And this erasure is historical, it's political, and, be and erasure starts um, from birth. Right. Yeah. If someone is visibly because intersex traits can manifest in infancy, childhood, adolescence, or sometimes even adulthood. Right. Yeah. But if intersex traits are visible in childbirth, 
they're automatically sort of like erased and people are shuffled into one category or another. But I think that the, the larger problem is that there is a lack of legal protection mm-hmm. um, for people with variations in their sex characteristics. Yeah. Um, and so I think that abandoning by legal frameworks leaves intersex people vulnerable. Yeah, definitely, definitely. River, any final thoughts? Uh, they <laughs> they really covered it, honestly. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess I would I would just add um, uh, just society sphere of the unknown and uncertainty, yeah. and and intersex people really um, I- I embody that in so many ways. Um, and so I think what we're now fighting for really um, is, is that a greater embracing the unknown and embracing and becoming more intimate actually with, with with the unknown. And that can only, oh my God, I'm sorry. (laughs) I like spaced out for a second. Um, That can only really happen with, with, with more and more people um, seeing us, seeing our work, seeing this documentary, uh, you know, championing intersex voices, um, putting their money where their mouth is, yeah. and and you know, really supporting the work that we're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, awesome, fantastic, yeah. River, Alicia, Cipher. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure talking with you all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Everyone Have... go see the film. Yes, go see the film, everybody. And when's it come out again? June 30th. June 30th. Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Take care.